Hi folks, I'm Al and today I'll be showing you how to upgrade your Mac Pro so you can have USB 3 functionality. Now there's a few things you'll need, but most importantly you need a USB 3 PCI Express card that's right here. And I'd like to thank the folks from Inatech that sent it to me so I can have a look at it. Now included in the box is going to be the card itself, a driver disk and this monstrosity. As you can see it's got all the cables you need but unfortunately you will need one extra little thing a little cable tie so let's get started and see what happens pop this out of the way along with the cable tie now the first thing you'll want is hopefully you have a free hard drive bay here or in the optical bay now if you have it in the optical bay it's a lot more hassle you're actually going to have to unscrew the little plate that runs down there and so you can route the cable through a tiny little gap. So uh, fortunately I have both of these free because I've decided to go for big hard drives in the first and second bay instead. So firstly, pop these out. Now I do remember, make sure you have nice dry hands, no oils on them, and touch metal to ground yourself. Don't be running around on carpet or wear like a jumper or a sweater as Americans might call it. Now you're going to have the PCI Express card there, the hard drive is here and right at the end of it you're going to have the SATA power and data cable. Now, it's right there at the bottom. I don't think you can see it quite well but I'll pop a picture up on the screen for you so you can see exactly what I mean. Now let's put this in shall we. If you've seen the unboxing video, well you know exactly what it is. Alright, now let's pop this bugger in. Now first things first, we want to get rid of that nice retention bracket at the back that's holding the graphics card and my SSD in place. Now it's right here, two thumb screws that you just unscrew. And they're spring loaded, so they make a tight fit, but they also pop loose quite easily. As you can see, there's that. Okay, now that's out of the way, we can take out an extra little piece of express backing here. That's what those look like, they just, you know, they're little placeholders for you. So put that out of the way as well. And now, let's slot this in. There you can see it's got the SATA power connector we need to attach. Now, not much hassle, you just pop it straight in. Okay, so now we have it in there. Like I said, it could be a bit of a hassle. So, we'll put the retention bracket back in place. Make sure everything is nice and tight. But not too tight. You don't want to strip any screws, which is quite easy. But of course they are thumb screws. You just use your hand to screw them nice in. And because they're spring loaded, it'll make sure everything is nice and snug. Now that's attached. Next thing's next. We can touch some of this. So, you know, just anesthetic wrapping doesn't really mean too much. Okay, now let's plug this huge mess in. First thing you need to hook up is the SATA power and data cable. The data cable is not going to be used at all. So I'm going to plug that in right here where the hard drive is supposed to slot down. Should be fairly easy. The problem is all these extra cables. Let's uh, just pull these out of the way. Plug that in. Alright, there we have it. That's plugged in now. Now as you can see I've got this huge cable sprawling everywhere in this big daisy chain. And I don't really want or need any of that in my life right now. So I'm gonna take these. And that's what the cable ties for. Get a little cable tie around, and just tighten it around them, to keep them out of place. Now it's unfortunate that Inatech don't have a single cable that'll just do the job really easily. So that is going to get cut off. Alright, got my little clippers here. Just going to cut them off, but not too much, just so you can have access to it again. Alright, get rid of that. 
Okay, now I don't want them hanging over the graphics or anything. So I'll probably just keep them around there. Once the computer is on its side and standing up, it won't really make too much of a difference. Just make sure the cables don't go everywhere. Now, we need to plug in this fucker. It's the power cable that's going to go straight into the USB 3 card. Now, let's plug it in. Although, it does look pretty darn odd. Hopefully, it's not too odd. But let's see how it goes, shall we? Alright, there it is. Plugged in nice and firm. I'm going to keep the cables right there, kind of on top of the graphics card, but out of the way of the fans, which is, in my opinion, the most important thing. Now, let's close it up, turn it on, and see if it all worked. Alright folks, here we are. The computer booted up without any problem. And now that I've gone into the system specifications area, after you click on USB, there you can see it. USB 3 high speed bus and USB 3 super speed. And there it is. You can see it's in the expansion slot. So, that worked successfully. Now, let's plug in one of my USB 3 external hard drives and see how fast it is, shall we? Okay, so I've plugged in my Lacey D2 USB 3 slash Thunderbolt drive. Let's see how it performs, shall we, with Blackmagic Disk. So we'll select Target Drive. And we'll click Lacey. There it is. Alright, now let's start a test and see if it is as good as they say it is. Well, I'm actually already impressed. I mean, on USB 2, the most you'll get is about 30 megabytes a second. And this is a mechanical drive, by the way, folks. And a 3 terabyte one of that with a quite a bit of storage already on it. This is surprisingly good. It's actually very good, in my opinion. Wow. I'm very happy at the moment. Alright, and there we have it. It's surprisingly fast. 180 megabytes read and write for a mechanical external drive. I am very pleased with that. Now I'll be doing a full review of the card, including the Inatech docking station for USB 3 hard drives. So check back soon. I hope you enjoyed watching that. I hope you learned a thing or two. I'll put all the links in the description for you. I'm Al. Thanks for watching. And bye bye.